Hi everyone, in this video, I wanna walk you through solving a few examples using Stefan Boltzmann's law, which if you remember from our last video is the power emitted by a black body is equal to the Stefan Boltzmann's constant times the absolute temperature of the black body to the fourth power. I've written that out in all the relevant units as well to further clarify that to you. Also, remember that since real bodies have an emissivity factor, we also have that term if our body doesn't absorb 100% of the incoming radiation. All right, so let's take a look at our very first question, which states that we must find the temperature of a black body that is emitting 90 kilowatts of power per meter squared of area. To begin any type of engineering problem, I recommend you draw a little diagram here for yourself so that you can better visualize the problem. Next, let's list our known values. So we know the value of the Stefan Boltzmann's constant, and we also know the power emitted from our black body per unit surface area. Now that we have all of our known units down, let's move on to the unknowns. And there's only one in this problem, and that is the temperature of the black body. Now that we have this complete, we are ready to begin solving this problem. So let's begin by writing down the Stefan Boltzmann's law here. Since we have stated that this is a black body, the emissivity term is omitted, since it would only be equal to one. Now, let's rearrange our equation and solve for the unknown, which we stated earlier is our temperature. Plugging in the relevant variables and double checking that our units make sense, we arrive at the answer of 1122.44 Kelvin. So we are saying that for a black body to emit 90 kilowatts of power per meter squared, 90 kilojoules of energy per second per meter squared, the body must be at this temperature. Now let's move on to the second question. This question states that the black body of a surface area of 1.5 meters squared has a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. How much energy can be produced by this surface in one minute? Please take a minute now and try to solve this problem on your own. All right, so let's begin solving this problem. We create our diagram, which is just our simple black body surface, and then we list down our known values. We know the area of the black body and we know its temperature, which remember must be converted to Kelvin. And we also know the duration over which we are studying the surface, one minute or equivalently 60 seconds. Now, our only unknown is the amount of energy in kilojoules that the surface will emit over our 60 second study. So let's first write the Stefan Boltzmann's law and expand on the emissivity power portion term like we talked about in the previous video. So here we have the change in energy over the change in time times the area is equivalent to our emissive power of the black body surface. Our initial energy and time terms will both go to zero as this is the beginning of our study. So we can just cancel those two terms out. Now let's isolate for our unknown value, which is the energy at the end of our 60 seconds. Lastly, let's just apply the values for each and validate that the units work out. And as we can see here, we are clearly left with the units of kilojoules, which is what we wanted initially, so that is great. Now finishing our problem, we have that the surface will radiate 55.65 kilojoules of energy in the 60 second study, and that is our final answer. Lastly, let's move on to our third and final question. Okay, so this question is asking us, what area would a surface with a 0.8 emissivity value have to be to emit nine kilowatts of power while its surface temperature is held constant at 40 degrees Celsius? Again, I highly recommend that you take a moment and try to solve this problem on your own first, and then validate your answer with mine. So let's begin by drawing our diagram, listing our known values and our unknown values like we have for the previous two problems. Please note that this Q term with the dot here represents power. The Q alone is our variable for energy, so units of joules, and the dot over the top is a way of stating per second. So we have joules per second, which is our units of power. Now let's write the Stefan Boltzmann law. And since we are no longer dealing with a black body, since we are given an emissivity value for the surface, we must include that term. If you find it easier, you can always write the emissivity term so you never forget it. Whatever is easiest for you. As we have expressed earlier, our emissive power per area term can be broken up like so, and then we can just go through and isolate for the area of the surface. Lastly, let's just verify that the units work out to meters squared and go through and solve. We end up with a final answer of 20.63 meters squared. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding about how we go solving problems using the Stefan Boltzmann's law. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.